Hey, this is the Pizza here, and I'm bringing you some more Guild Wars gameplay. This is the second mission in the Prophecies campaign, Fort Rannick. And the very beginning of this mission is pretty boring, just killing regular mobs most of the time. But right here I'm showing you the secondary objective of the mission. And if you're in a lower level party, one thing you will need to watch out for, which I'm pretty sure might have been in the last one, I'm not sure. But the uh, Char have this, the Char Rangers have this skill that causes an explosion uh, when the arrow lands, and if someone is near that explosion, the explosion occurs on them, and then it's like a chain reaction and it hits anyone near it, kind of like a deathly swarm. So, if you're in a party with actual human players and you're low levels, that could do some serious damage, and you'll probably need to spread out. So here's the secondary objective. All you gotta do is kill those two char overseers outside the little jail cell, rescue the guy, he'll tell you about some trebuchets in the north that you can use to defeat the char army, and then you get the secondary objective and 1000 experience points. So after that, move on to the trebuchet in question, and it's guarded by char lead and a couple other chars. So that's the army that we're not going to take head on. I'm gonna use the trebuchets for them. So no problems here. Just taking them out. And uh, the Char, I think he's a Mesmer. Yeah, he has this one skill. And you can see it's being used on our uh, priest and the party on the right side. He uses the skill called Ether Feast, which takes health from your allies and gives it to him. Kind of like Life Siphon but it takes it all in one giant chunk and if he uses that he spams that attack and if he uses it too much on a low level it could probably kill him so here's the guy we need to talk to cutscene damn char snuck up while i was repairing this trebuchet it's missing a release lever a restraining bolt and an arming crank search the other wrecked trebuchets to find those three pieces and bring them to me if you do i can fix this little lovely and we'll give those char a taste of their own filth. To activate the trebuchet after it's fixed, pull the lever once to load it, and once again to fire it. Anything under its blast will get blown to bits. But hurry! More char come through the wall every minute. So we have to find the parts to the trebuchet. I'm not going to show you all of it because it's just running around killing regular guys and getting the parts. I'm going to show you the first one to show you what you have to do and then the last one to show you the trebuchet. Well, me bringing the last part back to him. So you see there was a wreckage pile similar to the one in the first mission where the uh, pieces of armor were hidden. And I'm carrying this piece and you have to carry it. You can't attack while you're carrying it. So if you get attacked, you'd have to drop the item, attack, and then pick it back up. So I accidentally brought it to the lever, bring it to the guy. He'll say, okay, this is what you need now. And moving on to... Oh yeah, here I get stuck on the trebuchet. Uh, uh, wait, there you go. Moving on to the last part. And now the trebuchet is magically built. Pretty cool animation, I must say. And pull the lever. No, pull it again. Yeah, hero sitting like, okay, where's the fiery doom? Why isn't it happening? Oh, wait. It's not loaded. Pull the lever. Looks so sweet in my opinion. Pull it again! And watch as they perform their wonderful routine of synchronized death. They spent weeks planning that out. So here's another trebuchet. When I first found it, I was just like, well, what's it for? Because there's no enemies over there by that uh, little fiery. I don't know. Just fire. So I launch him like. Is that where it lands? Yeah, but there's no one there, so kind of useless. So I'm going to make my way over there. 
with my wonderful henchmen in tow. Moving slowly. And then, holy crap, they're moving closer to me. So back up quickly. And now I know what that trebuchet is for. So you can take out a large group of them right there and then. Not having to actually do anything. So run back to the trebuchet. And these guards wanted these char wanna take the title of a uh, synchronized death from the other group. So let's see how they do. I'd give the other group an eight. Let's see what I give these guys. Because there were a couple guys that fell a little out of time. The circle formation was very nice. I'd say an 8.5. Then again, they did have less people, so it was a little bit easier for them. And here's actually the final battle of the mission. It's kind of anticlimactic. There's a Char Priest and a couple... I think there's a Char Ranger and a Fire Caller. Not sure if that's right. Let's see once I get up the hill. Yeah, the Char Priest is in the lead, so he's going to be really annoying healing effectively. Oh no, it's a Char uh, a Martyr, so another healer. So take out the healer, and there's that explosion you can see doing damage to me and the priest. So take out the ranger. Oh, see that heal? Killed him for like 80% of his health. Insane. Now we have to take out this guy. So, yep, he's just gonna do heal area whenever he gets low. Luckily though, don't let him get low too often. I mean, get, let him get low for a long time and we kill him easily. And there's the primary objective. Which, you know what that means? Another cutscene. The time for action has come. No more cowering behind this wall. From now on, we take the fight to our enemies! Prince Rurik! Prince Rurik! Can you guess what he's gonna say next? What is it? Prince Rurik! Good job. We are victorious, but it has cost us greatly. During their retreat, the Char took prisoners. Several of our wounded have been carried off. Oh yeah, and that was a... Uh... X fire sound in the background, just ignore it. Ascalons will live in fear of these beasts no more. We march to the north to free our brothers and take back that which has been taken from us. So, yet another mission completed in Guild Wars, and it would seem the next time I will be rescuing some Ascalonian soldiers. And I'll see you next time.